Okay, in this video we're going to find the radius and interval of convergence for a power series. So the power series we're looking at here is the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of x to the n over 3 to the n. So the first thing that we want to do is look at the ratio test. And so the ratio test says uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of a to the n plus 1 over a to the n, if that equals L, so if L is less than 1, then it absolutely converges. If L is bigger than 1, then it diverges. And then finally, if L equals 1, then there is no information. Great, so we want to apply this ratio test to at least getting our radius of convergence and then we'll find our interval of convergence uh, using another test. So that means we need to look at the limit as n goes to infinity of a n plus 1 over a its absolute value where uh, a of n is equal to x to the n over 3 to the n. So let's see, that will give us x to the n plus 1 over 3 to the n plus 1 divided by x to the n over 3 to the n, all of that in absolute value. That's what we need to take the limit of. And then since our goal is for this to converge, we'll set that less to 1. Good. And now we can simplify that. So the limit as n goes to infinity. So now notice that is going to give us um, x to the n plus 1 over x to the n. So that will be the absolute value of x. And then if we flip this 3 to the n up to the numerator, that will give us 1 third. So we have one third is less, one third times the absolute value of x is less than one. So that tells us that uh, the absolute value of x has to be less than one. Notice there are no um, n's left in this, so uh, the limit is uh, super simple. So, um, sorry, this should be three. Okay, great. So now what that tells us is that x needs to be between 3 and negative 3, but the question still remains, what happens at 3 and negative 3? And so in that case, the ratio test will give us no information, so we need to test the endpoint separately. So let's look at x equals negative 3 first. So if we plug x equals negative 3 into this series, we get the sum n equals 0 to infinity of negative 3 to the n over 3 to the n, which is the sum n equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n, which diverges by the test for divergence. Good, and then if we set x equal to 3, we see that this is the sum n equals 0 to infinity of 3 to the n over 3 to the n, which is the sum n equals 0 to infinity of 1, which also diverges. Which means we can't keep any of the endpoints, and that means our interval of convergence is in fact negative 3 to 3, not including the endpoints, and our radius of convergence is 3, because each of those endpoints are 3 units from the center point. Um, okay, good. So we're done with this example.